either we are very brave or we are very stupid. It has a good golden color. Kati Rose shops back home were of course very very popular and this is a story that we wanted to bring uh, to Hong Kong. We choose takeaway first because we opened right in the middle of the COVID pandemic in uh, July 2021. Takeaway was a safer option and also a safer option for us to test whether people would like this kind of Indian cuisine. We were selling about 8,000 uh, Kati Rolls maybe per month. We're trying to change the perception of Indian food a little bit. What a lot of local Hong Kong Chinese people or even people from the mainland that visit, when they, when they think of Indian food, they think that they need to go as a group of three or four or five people to order many dishes and then share. What we wanted to do is create single portions and you can get a lot of flavor in just a single dish. Not big style curries and rice and lots of bread. Indian food is not just about butter chicken and garlic naan. There's a lot more than that. Very similar to Chinese cuisine where you have different provinces from China and each province has its own cuisine. For us, it's not just about a restaurant but about nostalgia, about emotions and about storytelling. And Indian street food is something that we grew up with. Each region has its own flavors, has its own unique dishes. And that's what we try to portray in Bengal Brothers in a very street food setting. People perceive Indian food to be quite spicy uh, and quite heavy. We make sure that we capture the flavor of our food, but each dish has a unique flavor. We are not over-spicing things. There was really nothing like this here. Uh, Indian restaurants, especially in Hong Kong, are either fine dining or they are sort of old school curry houses, but no one was really doing street food in a fun format where you could enjoy it with a night out with friends, have a couple of beers, have some cocktails. My advice to people that want to experience Indian food is go to restaurants that are new, order things from the menu that you don't know and you can't go wrong with Indian food. It's all flavorful, it's all delicious and it really warms the heart. So try new things. Never go to the restaurant and order the same thing twice. Bengal Brothers is kind of a uh, homage, it's a tribute to some of the oldest restaurants and some of the oldest businesses are often started by sort of trading houses that have family names, you know, Mr. Smith and Sons or uh, John and Brothers and things like that. So we wanted to give it that nostalgic Indian old style trading house. My name's Tan, uh, it's short for Tanvir, but it sounds like a Chinese name now because I've been in Hong Kong for about 15 years. Hi, I'm Vidur and I'm the co-founder and managing director of Bengal Brothers. We met uh, while I was managing a restaurant in Soho. Initially, we just became friends and as we got to know each other better and better, uh, we became closer and now eventually business partners as well. After a little bit of time, we discovered that actually our parents are friends as well. That our mothers went to university together and they're very good friends in college in 1975. Oh, it sounds like a movie, but yeah, it's true. I mean, it made, it made even more sense for me to do this then because it sounded like there was some magic in the background, you know? So you have to constantly do specials, engage with social media, engage with other companies that are exciting in the area so your customers always have something new to look forward to. Hong Kong is a great city for young entrepreneurs. Like, the, the way the infrastructure is set up is great for business. Um, the expansion came sort of naturally. About three months after we opened this shop, Hong Kong Land, um, Jardine House approached us and said that you know we're looking for young brands to join um, our, our outlet in Jardine House. The next expansion came logically right after that as we were in Wan Chai on the east side of the island. We wanted to sort of capture the western market a little bit, get closer to Pok Fulam and where the family stays. I think uh, Hong Kong is a great city for entrepreneurs because there are so many of them around you. And when you're surrounded by people who are driven, who are hungry and who are ambitious, I think you also get to be that way. It's a city that, that really drives you to be the best version of yourself. Short leases, high rent, labor is difficult here, but if your approach is right, if you've prepared yourself, then it's a city that can also be really, really rewarding. We're very happy to continue to invest in Hong Kong. Hopefully we can open more restaurants in the future. It's not just in Hong Kong, but maybe in other cities in Asia as well. 
Three things that I would list are patience, perseverance and loyalty. Patience because all good things come by having strong roots. Perseverance because the challenges will come and it's important not to give up. It's important to be loyal to your goals, to be loyal to the people around you and to make sure that the path that you've undertaken together is for the mutual benefit of everyone around you.